last vlog picture. So I just finished The Assassin in the Desert and it's this long. This is the next short story or novella or whatever, yeah. But here it is. Um, I really, really enjoyed this one um, better than the first two. Um, I, I felt, I was expecting the ending but at the same time I wasn't. I knew it was coming but it, it still shocked me. This, <laughs> uh, these, these characters, you fall in love with them so quickly and then something happens. So yeah, I'm ready to move on to the next one. I'm trying to read and this little guy gets all up in my face. See? And I'm sitting by the nice warm fire. So I'm starting the last story. Very nervous about going into it because I know what's going to happen. Just, I've gotten very attached to see. just painted this part that's why that's a little discolored there hey guys so sorry before the horrible lighting here but do you notice anything different the walls are painted I'm so happy I worked from 8 o'clock to like 10 30 to get all this done and this is the first coat I'm gonna have to go over it again because you can see like if the light hits it just right you can see where the paint meets up and it does not look good at all. But I'm so happy the, the patches are painted and it just looks so much better than it did. So I, I wanted to share that with you guys because it's done and it looks better. I am so happy. I can't resist Ben and Jerry's ice cream. It's so good. I just found out what happened to Sam. <sighs> and excuse the painted hands, but oh my gosh. I mean, I knew something happened to him, but I didn't know that did. Wow. Hey guys, what's going on? No, <clears throat> excuse my voice, but it's Saturday. Um, we went to my local library's Comic Con today. Um, it's their third year of doing this. But it wasn't as packed or, yeah, as I thought it was going to be. Um, I don't know how much input or advertisement they had into this, but I just hope it goes better next year. I mean, they probably thought it went well. I mean, there's a lot of people there. We kind of went at the time where they were playing like card games and stuff. So there were two tables of that and our library is kind of small, so. But, I mean, I guess you can, it's to be expected. I don't know. But I was going to show you what we got. And we got two Rugrats Reptar bars. And it's chocolate. And it has, like, green filling in it. And it turns your teeth and tongue green. It was not bad. And it only turned our tongue green. I'd say if we ate more, maybe our teeth would have turned green. And then we were able to pick up free comic books. I picked up Archie because I love Archie comics. They're my favorite thing and I've read them since as long as I can remember. And both my boys picked up a SpongeBob comic book because they love SpongeBob. And then, surprise, I picked up something Doctor Who. I got the Weeping Angel. And <laughs> this is the only Doctor Who item I saw, which I'm surprised. And we didn't even see Pokemon or, I mean, someone made a Squirtle plushie, which was absolutely adorable. But, I mean, there was a booth that had really old game items. There was a booth that had this, that had like Halloween costumes. One booth, um, they had plushies set up. There were two booths that had art and these artists did amazing. I absolutely loved their artwork. But, and <laughs> it's not 
something I have hanging around here, so I didn't get any, and it's just, I mean, they did amazing. I think they did a great job at doing their art. And so, I don't know, maybe next year, my husband and I can try to sit up there um, with our project we're working on if we stay going for a whole year. So, fingers crossed that we do. Yeah, I'm gonna go, oh, wait, I finished the Assassin's Blade. I did not, the first two stories were okay. The third one where she was in the Red Desert, I really, really liked that one. The ending had me shook. <laughs> the fourth one was good, and the fifth one, I just was, Oh my gosh, I found out what happened to Sam and how the thing happened to him. And it's just so, so bad. And then with the thing with Selena and then Arabin or Arobin or I have no idea how to say his name, but I cannot stand him. I don't like him. And I remember not liking him at all when I read Throne of Glass. So I'm going to be starting Throne of Glass today. So yay. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend, even though you'll see this like next week. Bye. And I wanna show you guys too, I have been working on the dining room, finally. I painted and then I redecorated this. My mother-in-law found this and this. My mom found this and this huge candle thing over here. And then I've had these already. So I just, I think it looks so cute. Then I have that, and then we're gonna hang stuff around it. And then I repainted this thing, and it looks cute. I'm so proud of this. I did that, right there. <laughs> and now I just need to go get pictures printed off and make it all pretty. I'm so happy, I love it. Okay, so I have another thing to show you. And if you can hear anything, my husband is out mowing. So, at the library, we also got book two of The Land of Stories, and it is the Enchantress, Retur Enchantress Returns, and the cover is absolutely gorgeous. I love the covers of this book, these books. It shows all the characters that you interact with, who's gonna be like the main parts of the story, and I love it. And then we also got Pokemon XY, Pokemon Curium, The Sword of Justice, and Pokemon Elements Collection. Everything Pokemon all the time. So I'm excited to get into this. We've been waiting for the audiobook, but it's going to be a while before we can get it. So I went ahead and took the opportunity to get the second book while we were at the library. I'm glad it was in. The third book was there too, but I didn't get it because I didn't know how long it would take us to get this one done. So now I'm going to go. Bye! Right, so I wanted to show you my um, bullet journal real quick. I'm changing it up in May. Here's the cover page. And I'm gonna keep the memories. I'm getting rid of my tracker. I did nothing in it except for those four days, which is horrible. I'm getting rid of my sleep book. I did not use it at all last month. I'm keeping this. I'm trying to keep track of when I post on Instagram and when I post on YouTube. Um, which has not been very much lately and I apologize. And then I'm off, I'm, I'm keeping these two pages. So, um, here would be my pictures. Here's my main cover page. It's not great. I just did it really, really quick. Um, here's my memories and this will be my calendar. Books read in May and then my page tracker will go right here and then I will start with my weekly layouts here. And I have not had time to plan or get in my journal or just, and I miss it. So hopefully in May I can get back into it without having too much to keep track of. But I'm also wanting to start a Bible journal, which is why I have all this out. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. So if you have any like Bible journaling tips or suggestions or videos or blogs or anything I could check out, please let me know. Hey, what's up? It is Sunday. It is April 30th and I just wanted to end this vlog. I had a great reading month and I'm so proud of myself. This is the best month I have read all year long. I read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books. I read 3,000 200 or wait sorry 3026.5 pages um 
poison study the first book I finished this month was like I read started it in March and then finished it in April so I cut it in half and went from there um, but I did all that and I'm so proud of myself and I finished the Assassin's Blade this week and I gave it four and a half stars I I think I already explained this um, I didn't I mean the first two stories were okay the third one I really liked the fourth one I liked and the fifth one just tore me up I wasn't too happy about that um, but it was to be expected because you know I read the first four books Throat of Glass Crown of Midnight Air of Fire Queen of Shadows I think I read all of those and then I have not read any more after so <laughs> I don't know what's going on but I've read all those and I'm doing my reread now I started on Throne of Glass today that will be continuing on in my TBR for next month um, I have quite a few books set for next month I'm going to try to participate in a readathon I may only get one book done for that week but I have three books set that I want to read I will explain all of that in my May TBR, I keep wanting to say April, I'm like a month behind. Um, I have quite a few books I'm needing to read next month. Well, I have one that I really, really do need to read and that is my The Crowns of Crosswald book I got for review, to review. Very excited for it. I'm looking forward to it. I will probably pick it up right after Throat of Glass. It all depends on when I finish Throne of Glass if I can finish it before the readathon or I may have to pick it up right after the readathon but I am reading it next month for sure. I plan on making a wrap up video because I read so many books this month. Um, I don't, I'll go over my stats mainly. I don't know how much detail I'll get into the books because I've been talking about them in my vlogs. So I will basically tell you what I've read, tell you the page numbers, what just all the stats about it and the page count again if you missed it in this video but I am going to try to do better with my pages read because look at that that just looks horrible I did not even complete it so yeah I guess that's that for this vlog I hope you guys have had a great week and I guess that's it. And here I'm flipping through my journal as I'm telling you. I hope you have a great week. So I will talk to you in my next vlog next month. Bye.